As of yet, there is no single way of sculpting digitally that's perfect for every situation, and Dynamesh is no different. Let's understand better what its limitation and what it is used better for, and what it's good for, and what you have to avoid. So, one of the things that Dynamesh does is it makes meshes watertight, so it closes all the holes. So, if you can see, I have this character over here, which have eye sockets holes over here and as soon if i will apply a dyna mesh on it so you will notice that what it do the first thing is that it closes the holes okay and it makes it a water tight where there is no holes here so what i can do here is that if i will undo and show you below so there is hole below as well here you can see that clearly and if i will press the dynamesh here to apply the dynamesh so that hole uh, that hole is also gone here so that's one uh, thing that dynamesh usually do over here it makes your objects watertight and there is one more issue let's see what is that if i will undo everything here let let's try to make uh, like a superhero mask for this director so if i will press control over here and make something like a a superhero mask giving him a mask over here okay and once you have a good mask feature here what we can do is that we can extract this whole thing so once he have this mask what i can do at this stage is that i can go do the sub tool here and i can extract this one okay and once i'm satisfied with this i will just like accept so i will remove this uh, mask here control and hide it here uh, control and drag so it's the same thing when you reinitialize the subdivision of the dynamesh now i have this one if i will just go to my uh like subdivision like my sub tools here press shift and click on the eye to isolate this with the eye again and if i will apply uh, the dynamash here you can see that it's a quite a like a, a thick object but it is not that thick as we are well it should be for a dynamash so if i will go to the uh, geometry here click on the dynamash so you can see that it is kind of making it fairly uh, nice result. But if I will go undo everything here, okay, uh, till it's get or what I can do here, I can go back to my uh, character over here, delete this one, and let's do one thing. Let's extract extract it again. But this time I want a very thin. Uh, object so if i will extract this one here and then accept this and then hide the main character here now you can see it is fairly thin okay now what happens if i will apply the dynamesh on this object and when i do that you can see it's not correctly doing this uh what i was expecting it to do so dynamesh is not good for thin objects the objects that have thin geometry so uh, avoid applying dynamesh to the objects that are thinner so as you can see before it was thicker so there was no issues but as soon i made it uh, and i re-extracted it with the thin geometry so it start creating some issues over here so in short you can see when parts of your mesh gets really thin dynamesh doesn't uh, like doesn't always know what to do with them so you get uh, this kind of effect which is also called swiss cheese effect and this is going to probably cause problems so if this happens how you can solve this issue so to solve this issue what you can do is that turn off your dynamesh right now okay and or simply i will do undo over here and then i will go to my option here 
okay and i will choose an inflate brush over here which is this one okay b i n is the shortcut and i will uh, start inflate this one let me increase the intensity as well so i can have a uh, inflation much more higher and you can see that this is the part where i inflated and this is the part where i left which is which i left without inflation now if i will turn on the dynamesh so the part that is was inflated is now fine but the part which was without the inflation is not give uh, it's still the kind of a swiss cheese effect is over there so if i will turn this off okay apply this uh, again okay and then apply the dynamesh again here so you can see things are getting better okay so turn it off and then add some more turn it on and you can see that things are getting better now you can smooth out if there is some artifacts so inflation brush will uh, help you to uh, you know solve this issue but as you know uh, dynamesh is not a big fan of thinner objects so try to keep it fairly uh, like thick enough so you don't have this issue like we have this here so again little bit inflation then apply this so inflation brush uh, can save your day and will avoid all this these sort of problems but you know why you want to keep this if you know that uh, thinner objects are not uh, you know uh, have good relations with that dynamic so avoid that so let uh, I hope you have understood about this one uh, and how to solve this issue. Let me undo everything to go back, or you know, simply what I can do here is that keep everything as it is and go back to my character over here and hide this mask and this uh, act, the act, the uh, the superhero mask which I created and remove this mask over here now as i did the undo over here you don't see uh, that closing because there is no uh, dynamesh on it right now so i will go back here to the dynamesh now another issue you will face is when uh, two of the objects are meeting together where when they are merging together okay the, when they are fused together so for example if i will go to my uh, move tool BM and move topological BMT. So I'm here in the move topological, and what I will do here is that I will just increase my size of the brush, and I will bring this upper mouth closer, and the below mouth over here somewhere, and just like that. And you can see that the mouths are kind of a, you know fusing together okay they are next to each other unlike before as before they were a wide apart open now they are not so if i will go to the dynamesh and turn on the dynamesh so what it will do is that it will count them as one part and you can see what it has done it has just uh, you know fused it together so if I will try to smooth this out, you can see there is an issue here, uh, which has made it mouthless. Like there is two tiny holes over here because the upper lip and the lower lip are fused together, and this is how you will get the result. So uh, you want to watch out uh, that you don't accidentally having things like this, and this is very common in things like fingers because uh, on the character, uh, fingers are often close enough together. That you'll get this kind of bridging or fusing uh, between the fingers so all you want is that watch out for that and keep things uh, like far apart if you're using the dynamic so you will avoid this kind of issue over here and something else that dynamic might not be great for is super fine detail so i'll just get my standard brush over here okay and i will Try to make it smaller, the brush size. Okay, so once it is small, if I want to create a super fine detail, so you can see that 
it is still as the resolution is still higher it's not giving me that the result i'm looking for okay so that's actually what dynamesh is not good at so if you want to work on super fine detail i recommend that you uh, subdivide your existing model and then you work on it dynamesh is good for large details or details when when you want to even out your uh, like polygons there so to avoid any kind of st uh, like stretching and any kind of you know pinching and those kind of things and also one thing is that if you will increase your uh, resolution as i did before your computer will get a slower and slower and this is because uh, your computer is not like you know it's not quite enough and it might be taxing your computer too much because of its high resolution dynamesh is not uh, the most efficient with memory and processor power so that's the one reason that you don't get uh, it won't work along with the high resolution uh, like results over here so if you want a really fine detail as i told you before you might be better off using a subdivision based model as opposed to dynamesh okay so as long you know what to look out for dynamesh it's a great way to work especially when you are creating uh, like you know higher details and and you know you are reshaping your object so to avoid that stretching and that uh, pinching you can use the dynamesh so i hope uh, it's clear for you all and if you have liked this video please click on the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i will highly appreciate if you can share my channel on your social media account so can, uh, i can have more subscribers which will motivate me uh, to create more and more content so i will be helping you out also if you have any question leave in the comment section below don't forget to click on the bell icon and i hope you are watching my videos online so i can get more enough watch time hours. so everyone take care and i will meet in the next lesson